Hey guys, it's Ed with HWP Core TV. We're hanging out here in the Lowell booth right now with uh, with Tim, and we're talking about power. So Tim, can you tell us a little about our power offerings? Yeah, this is our brand new uh, RPC-P series, which P stands for Parallelable, Programmable, Plug and Playable, Pass-Throughable, anything you want the P to stand for. But the point is that you have a sequencer here that has RJ45 jacks on it, and all you have to do is run Cat5 cable to each of the power control units, and uh, they will turn on in whatever sequence you program them for. Each of the power control units has a dip switch on it, so you can set the step you want it to operate on, and the controller here just simply provides the contact closures via the Cat5 cable to turn them on. So you turn the sequencer on. See what happens here. All these come on in whatever program order you set it for. Now the beauty of this is that you don't have to have individual home runs for anything. One run from the sequencer to every piece, doesn't matter what order you put them in or what direction, anything. As long as they're all connected to the same cable, they can be anywhere in any order. Because the sequencer is just providing the contact closures to turn them off and on. So quick, easy installation. It can be scaled. You can add and subtract anything you want, anytime. You don't have to rewire anything. Once you've got a home run, nothing changes in the wiring. So uh, we also have uh, relay modules for this system, which not, don't turn on power, but they turn on dry contacts on a relay, which allows you to use these to control other control systems that require just low voltage contact closures. So if you want more information about that, we have some diagrams on our website and uh, some application pictures. So contact us at www.lowellmfg.com. These are our new multi-output DC power supplies. They're designed to replace individual power supplies or wall warts on equipment where you have many, many wall warts and you haven't got enough room for them. You can use our multi-output power supplies. We have a model with five volt outputs, 12 volt outputs, 24 volt outputs, and then combinations of the three. Now, each of these terminals here is individually protected, so if something shorts out here, all it does is turn off that output. It doesn't affect the rest of them. It's individually protected. Universal input, work anywhere in the world, anything from 100, or 10, 100 volts to 240, 50, 60 hertz, doesn't matter. Now we have unique mounting brackets here so that these can be rack mounted or front or back. You can be surface mounted or they can be flipped around and mounted underneath of a counter, like inside of a credenza or a podium. Um, and then we have a junior version. This is a baby version of the same thing. It has a 5 volt, a 12 volt, and a 24 volt output. When you have just a few power supplies to replace, you can use this and then just put this inside your rack and get rid of the individual power supplies. So that, uh, that's our new multi-output DC power supply line. For more information, you can contact us at Lowell. Hey guys, we're going to move over here with Ken and talk about some wall enclosure options. Uh, good day from Orlando. These are our new 14-inch uh, wide in-wall boxes. We've got a 9-inch version, a 22-inch version, and then a 14 by 14, which we're not showing at the show. Uh, they got rear mounting holes to accumulate uh, all kinds of configurations. These are removable device panels. Take them out. Mount equipment. It will rotate around if you need more space. Pop that in. And then a nice cleanup cover. <laughs> That'll pop in and hold it there. <laughs> then we'll go back over to this side. And then this is our in wall box with a breakaway flange. It comes, it comes this distance, and if you need those shorter distances, rock that back and forth, that flange will break off. This is the different. It mounts between your 16 inch studs, got our own blue power brackets. Uh, wire ties pull out with a screwdriver and then we have our uh, laser knockouts for knockouts and panels <laughs> outlets and the cover go back on to help clean it up that 
It's in wall box, the breakaway flange. That's the IWBK, the other ones are IWB. So.